everyone and welcome to my youtube channel my name is Muhammad al hafi and i'm a math olympiad coach if you are not familiar with math olympiad topics you can see the video about math olympiad topics here on my channel but uh, math olympiad topics are basically the following geometry number theory algebra and combinatorics so far in this channel, we've started with algebra and specifically with functional equations. You can see the playlist here on my channel. Now we'll start with uh, the second topic, which is geometry. Of course, geometry is very important topic in Math Olympiad. Uh, that's why we cannot cover everything about geometry in this tutorial. But we'll start with angle chasing in this specific tutorial. Okay, angle chasing is basically a very important technique that you, you need to master to some degree in order to be able to solve ad more advanced uh, more advanced math olympiad uh, contests about geometry of course okay so before we start with angle chasing let's start talking about some centers of the triangle so we'll start with the basic famous four centers of, tri of triangle which are the circumcenter the orthocenter, the centroid, and the n-center. We'll do some angle chasing here, and then we'll use the, the results we get in order to solve other problems. Okay, so first of all, in this video, we'll start with the first center of the triangle, and that is the circumcenter. Okay, so as you see in the diagram here, we have uh, triangle ABC. We have triangle ABC. We have uh, drawn the, cir the circumcircle of this triangle that is the circle that passes through the three vertices A, B and C and we have also drawn the, the, the circumcenter and that is O of course it is the center of the circle and we need, we are asked to find the value of the angle B, O, C that is this angle right here, B, O, C okay so in order to evaluate this angle BOC, we need to first of all define what is the circumcenter, what is the circumcenter, right? Okay, so what is the definition of the circumcenter? Of course, uh, si since it is the, the center of the circle that passes through the vertices A, B, and C, then we must have OB, the length of OB is the radius. So OB, the length of OB is the same as the length of OC, and furthermore, it is the same as the length of OA. Okay, that means we have three isosceles triangles. And this is awesome because isosceles triangles are very cool when uh, dealing with angles or with angle chasing. Okay, so in order to evaluate the angle BOC, let's first of all define some variables. So let's uh, assume that this angle here is X and this angle here is Y. So the angle OAC is X and the angle OAB is Y. From the isosceles triangle OAC, we must have the angle OCA is X. And from the, and, uh, the same for the triangle OBA, we must have this is Y. Okay, great. So what about the angle AOC? We can now evaluate it, right? It is simply pi minus 2X. And the same for the angle, o, uh, for the angle AOB. It is pi minus 2y. Okay, that means that the angle BOC can now be evaluated because it's simply 2 pi minus pi minus 2x minus pi minus 2y. So let's uh, basically write it here. So BOC is simply 2 pi minus the first angle, which is pi minus 2x minus the second angle which is pi minus 2y and that is of course 2 times x plus 2 times y and that is by thinking 2 as a common factor 2 times x plus y okay great so that is 2 times x plus y great so we have indeed found the value of the angle boc but the problem is we've defined some variables x and y and then we evaluated this angle. So this is pretty useless, right? Because we didn't find it uh, using the angles of the triangle, A, B, or A, the angle A, or the angle B, or the angle C. Okay, but this is uh, not a big problem because note what is X plus Y? 
x plus y from our definition is simply a. So that means that 2 times x plus y is simply 2 times a. Okay, great. So that means that the angle B, O, C is simply 2 times the angle A. Okay, great. So now let's mm, erase everything and now let's write our new result. Okay, so let's now write this angle. Of course, this angle is A and this angle is 2 times A. Great. What about the angle B, C, O and the angle C, B, O? Can we find this angle and this angle? Well, yes, we can. Note that this is an isosceles triangle. And we, ha and we know the this angle is 2 times A. That means that this angle, uh, uh, the length, uh, the, the measure of this angle is the same as the measure of this angle and is the same as pi minus 2A over 2. So it is pi over 2, and that is 90 degrees, of course, uh, minus a, and that, and it is the same as this, this is pi minus 2 minus a. Okay, great. So now we know everything about the circumcenter. We know all the angles about the circumcenter. We know that b, o, c is 2 times a, and we know that b, c, o is the same as c, b, o, and is the same as pi over 2 minus a. And of course, you can apply the same for the angle b, o, a. It is, it is 2, c. And c, o, a is also 2 times b. And simply now, you know everything about the angles that are formed by the, circumcent the circumcenter. Okay, but here we have some, uh, one big uh, problem. And that is, this is all, only true for acute triangles. So here in our diagram, the all, all the angles are acute, right? But what about this case? Okay, in this case, things change a little. But no worries, we can do the same here. So what is the angle BOC in this diagram? What is the angle BOC? Of course, it is not 2 times A. But we can do apply the same technique here. We can simply draw this, use the fact that this is the same as this, the same as this, the lengths are all equal, and assume that this is x, this is y, this is now x, and this is now y, so this is pi minus 2x, and this is pi minus 2y, meaning that the angle BOC is the sum of the angles pi minus 2x plus pi minus 2y and that is 2 pi minus 2 times x plus y and of course here we have the same 2 x plus y, 2 times x plus y is simply 2 times a so this angle is simply 2 pi minus 2a so that means here things get changed and we have the angle boc is 2 pi minus 2a so you need to discuss the cases depending on your problem if the triangle is acute then you have boc is 2 times a if it is not then you have boc is 2 pi minus 2a okay so that's basically everything about circumcenters and in the next couple of videos we will discuss the other centers of the triangle